Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Copy Tutorials from ScrapStamper.blogspot.com. Today we are going to be coloring this lovely um, 1930s truck image from LittlePaperShop.com um, and I love this image. This is actually the card that I assembled. Um, when I first saw this image I immediately thought of my dad for Father's Day and the um, quote that's actually from the construction set that Little Paper Shop sells boys and their toys because my dad's a car collector, um, but of Hot Wheels cars, and this reminded me just, just perfectly of one of his cards, and so I thought this would be a great Father's Day gift. So, I'm going to leave this here in sight, so you can kind of see what we're going to be coloring. Um, one new thing that I've been doing is I've been making little color charts of the different Copic colors that I use on the card, and this way um, I get to, I can remember easily when I go back when I look, because I can take pictures of all of my cards, um, which colors I used and sort of how they look together. And it's also a really great way to sample all of your different cards. So for instance, um, I have everything here, and then I'm just going to scribble really quickly 1930s little paper shop truck. And I just kind of keep these all in a little bin. So if I ever want to do it again, I know exactly what I used. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, we're going to start with Y. I'm also going to make sure you can see our little chart. There we go. Okay, we're going to start with YR4. And um, we're just going to do the entire truck as a base level. Um, we're going to be using a darker shade to do our shadows, which is going to be YR09. Um, I really like this YR04, which is called Chinese Orange. Um, it's a really bright and fun color. And, um, you know me? I really like bright and fun. Um, I hope that everyone's having a great week. I know for me it's getting up to be final time, but um, just two more weeks, then I will be home relaxing and then um, doing some traveling, which. I'll be telling you guys about later. Um, I hope that everybody is also taking the opportunity to um, to enter to win blog candy. You can um, enter every day until um, April 18th, which is the release day for paper for Little Paper Store. Um, she's going to be releasing seven sets um, and also some individuals. This uh, particular 1930s Ford truck is going to be um, an individual stamp which is one of the reasons why I chose to highlight it because I thought, you know, everyone can have the opportunity. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do um, my shadows in the darker YR09. I'm actually going to go ahead and zoom in. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the card, but I think it's going to be a little more convenient to do it this way. Keep this. Okay. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and do my shadows, and I just picked different pieces of the truck to do the shadow in. Um, with these line drawings, it's just fun to do the two-tone. It doesn't really matter um, exactly where you do your darker colors, because um, since there's no actual shading, you're sort of more highlighting than doing actual shading. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat with YR09. And um, it's more of a highlighting coat. You're going to see if you flip this image over that it's mostly saturated. It's not completely saturated. And um, that's how I like it when I'm using the same color twice because it makes it um, so that I can do my two layers technique, um, which if you've never heard of, I have lots of tutorials on how to get the most out of your markers. Um, by doing a second coat, um, a little bit darker, and um, that only works if your first coat is not completely the darkest that the color can go, because remember, the more coats of the color, the darker it's going to look. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little on the windshield. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and do my little headlights. Um, I actually didn't have this on my... She didn't have this on my little color chart, but it's okay. This is YR23, um, which is in the warms, 
which is one of the reasons why I'm using it. I'm actually going to zoom out because I think that this pan focus might be happier zoomed out. So I'm going to bring this back. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead um, and do my windshield and my tires. Um, remember, there are warm colors and cool colors, just as how you learned in, um, in elementary school. And it's important for a card like this to use warm colors because you're using orange and red. It's not really red, but it's a deeper orange, which are warm colors. So using a warm shadow, which is the W's, um, will accent your vehicle a lot better. So we're just going to do the little shadows for the window. Okay, now we're going to do grass. Grass is one of my favorite things to do um, with Copics because of the brush tip. Okay, The fact that it's this angular tip makes um, a great, great um, grass impression, as you can see on, on this card. So I'm just going to go ahead and randomly do it in my lighter color. Okay, and I sort of have him almost like he's on a little hill. Okay, and I want it to butt right. And just a little bit, sorry. Almost like he's on a little, a little hill. Okay. And I'm doing, I'm just going to keep going until I'm happy with the way it looks. Remember, we're going to cut off the bottom, so that's not so important. Okay, now I'm happy with this. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat um, in G99, which is one of my favorite grass greens. And um, one of my tips for shading with these is to keep the darker ones towards the bottom. It helps, um, tends to look a lot better that way. Keep going. With this sort of, the second coat, um, tends to be a little bit darker. Of uh, That was the YG95. And now we are almost done. Um, now we're just going to do the background. One of my favorite things about these markers that everyone always um, loves is how they don't leave lines. And that is one of the most important things for this image is that they're not leaving lines because we're going to do the sky. Um, now I have not yet invested in an airbrush tool. If I had one, I would probably use it for this. To me, it's just not that necessary. But um, you have it, you might want to use the airbrush for this instead of just coloring free-for-all, but I'm just coloring free-for-all and I'm, I really like it. Okay, now I'm actually going to change it over to my chisel, um, because you can get a lot more color on it. Okay, and now, um, it does not need to be 100% even because, again, it's clouds. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it so that you can see the finished card. And here you go. Here would have been your card for the boys and their toys card. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks. Bye.